crossing is 1.3 miles where it crosses the Mississippi River. There was an elaborate couple year long process with Fish and Wildlife Service where they had two concerns. One was height of structures and how much tree clearing we needed to do on the ground. And we provided them with four or five different designs. And in the end, the Fish and Wildlife Service settled on a plan that takes a little bit of each approach. Part of the agreement with the Fish and Wildlife Service was to remove that line and rebuild it in the more bird-friendly configuration. So we had to remove that lattice structure, shear it on site so that it was in small enough pieces to be loaded in a barge and hauled off site. We started construction in August of 2014 with removal of trees along the river. Then access roads, including composite mats to support heavy equipment in a wetland, were installed. Then our foundation contractor built foundations at the five locations. The last step were Excel Energy crews installing poles and wires. One of the most challenging parts of constructing this was putting a structure onto an island, accessible only on a barge on the Mississippi River. All equipment, materials, manpower, all had to be delivered by barge or boat. There was one day when they delivered 100 concrete trucks by barge from the concrete plant, two trucks per barge at a time. The foundation type are different than what we use inland. Inland, we do a drilled pier but the soils at the river were very unstable and didn't have very good strength properties. So in those types of situations, it's common to install a cap and pile foundation. 16 inch diameter steel pipes are driven 60 to 100 feet in a grid. They're filled with concrete, steel reinforcing bar is added, and then on top of all that to connect the pipe together is a pad of concrete that's about six feet thick. Helicopters were used to string wire across the river and also to install other devices. Toward the end of construction, the river channel was frozen and the two main river crossing structures could only be reached by helicopter. So the helicopter would actually hang linemen on a long rope, drop them off at the top of the structure to complete the last few steps of construction. I started working on the project in 2006. Now I'll see it through the end of construction in 2016. It's the only thing my kids have ever thought dad ever did. And that's, I think, unique to be able to have the opportunity to work on such a long project from beginning to end over a 10-year period. It's very satisfying. It's a lot of fun.